That is an old thing. I didn't. I think it slowed down. I've been back to work for what, six weeks? Six weeks of no hiking and I'm so out of shape. This is really pretty. Nice and still. Oh, now it's recording. Yeah, there we go. It's recording now. Want to say something? Uh -huh. I was going to say, want to play baseball? Yeah, right. Yeah. And that's it? Nothing else? Wait. I'm just going to pan around now. You know what? Look at these pieces of moss. These light green pieces of moss. Mm-hmm. Down there? Yeah. Yes. Nice piece of Thank you for dismantling your beautiful fire. We'll put it back together. It's okay. It's not ready to. 
So the black, the, the really black marks, like in there, some of that, little bits of really dark black in there. So the nickel, big nickel had some plaques saying that, why are all the rocks in Sudbury black? If you're from Sudbury, just skip this part. But I found it interesting that it's because of all the smelting in the open smelting pits um, actually caused acid rain to turn all the rocks. And we're like 50 kilometers from Sudbury right now. And the acid rain came out here. So I guess that's like a lot of black over a period of a hundred years. So it's not like this black um, acid rain came all at once and just killed everything. Although it, all the trees were cut down in order to fuel the smelting. So they would burn the, the wood. So there was no trees and just barren rock for the longest time in Sudbury. And then in 1978, I guess, they stopped doing mining in Sudbury. And they have been trying to reclaim the ecology ever since then. So a lot of the trees here is new growth. So yeah, Fairbank is a really cute little campground. I would totally come back here. I could see us totally coming back here. It's not like your impressive, monumental, huge pine jack pines or anything like that it, it is new growth but it is a very nice campground and uh, if i found myself looking at all the rocks in sudbury different after reading that about well we both did right hun yep. we both found ourselves looking at all the rocks differently after reading about the acid rain that caused ecological disaster basically I almost felt like, after reading that, I felt like I'd been visiting Chernobyl or something. But I know it wasn't that bad. Uh, anyway. But yeah, they've been uh, smelt, smelting and mining for nickel ore and copper and other metals. Very rich in iron here, too. And uh, you can just find it on the ground. And... Uh, yeah, for over 100 years. 18, in the 1880s, they started, and they stopped in the 70s. So nearly 100 years of of uh, acid rain. Oh, very nice. Interesting. So it goes around that way. Yeah. Okay, let's go around that way. Alright. Fine. Right. Let's go. Around? I do, but I'm peeking out further. I know, we're going to be coming back this way. Oh, this is the trail. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Aha. Uh -huh. That's an old tree in there. You think? Okay. You think that survived the uh, smelting days? These trees might have been planted in the early stages of regreening. Because they're not like, yeah, the 70s. And, uh, in the 70s. Like, don't be misled. These dark, dark patches are, um, moss. But this is the black rock here. Oh, yeah, this. And the rock that's not black currently is covered in moss. And also the rock that, yeah, a lot of smelting acid rain here. Um, the rock that's white and left, um, can I find a piece? That is a lot of black rock. The, the rocks that you see that aren't black are, were basically covered in soil yeah. during the time of uh, acid rain. Really, really black stuff, that's the... That is solid black. Holy. Yeah. That's really like. See right there. That's, that was exposed to the elements. Wow. The only reason why I think they're rubbed off now, people have walked on them. Like you have to.
Yeah, I'd like to come back and visit the um, Science North and Dynamic Earth. I'd like to see that. Eight is the lake. Ta-da! I've included the plaque from the Big Nickel Mine that talks about the gel that the rain would form from sulfur dioxide, which basically put a sealant on the rock that was equivalent to putting, well, it was basically what they called acid rain. Quartz veins. Interesting. Huh? Another one there by your foot. Maybe it really did affect them. Oh, what's it calling there? Bunch of messages. Is it recording? Yes. Okay, you're looking. Billing alert is telling me. Glasses. Oh, you're coming around that way. Well, I was coming around that way. I was hoping you'd look at the camera still. Too late now. I did look at the camera. I blew you a kiss.